Today I'm going to be talking about the One Touch, the JD One Touch. This is what the JD One Touch looks like. There is multiple different controllers. There's also the PDA handheld remote or AquaPalm. There's also the iAquaLink, which is a telephone app that you would use your mobile device. But today we're going to be talking about the One Touch. The One Touch, you should have a manual like this that you can download off the internet, or you might have received this in your book. But today we're going to talk about the One Touch. The, one touch. the main screen will scroll through. It will tell you the equipment status right now. It's going to tell you the RPMs of the pump and if the pump's running. It's also going to tell you if there's any faults. I'm going to hit the back button. This is the main menu. It's telling me the pool temperature, the air temperature, the time and date, and then there's equipment on off. I can use the up and down arrows to scroll down to the equipment on off, one touch, and menu and help. I'm going to go into and start on equipment on off today. I hit the select button and then equipment on off. The first thing you'll see here on the equipment on off is that the filter pump is on and everything else is in the off position. If I wanted to turn the spa on, I would scroll down to spa with the down arrow and hit select. By hitting select, it says spa will turn on after a delay. You'll notice the three asterisks up at the top. It's because the actuators or valves are moving over at the pool equipment. In a few minutes, those asterisks will go all away and the filter pump will be on as well as the spa. Now in spa mode, the spa does not overflow anymore. It just isolates the hot tub. You also could scroll down and turn on the spa heat if we wanted to, and we could hit on. You'll notice when I hit the spa heat that this green light right here starts off in green and goes to red when it's on. We can hit the down arrow and set the temperature to the spa, say at 96 degrees, and then hit select. I would just I can also, the minute it reaches the temperature that it's supposed to be at, you're going to notice that once it's reached the temperature, the green light is going to be on and the spa heat's going to say enabled. That allows you to know that it's reached the temperature, the desired temperature. I'm going to shut the heater off. Go down to pool lights, I can hit on. If you had color changing lights, at this particular time, it's gonna ask you what color to choose. This pool only has white only. Um, you could have other auxiliaries as well. You'll notice down here at the bottom, there's spa mode, pool mode, and all off. Right now, I'm going to go ahead and just turn everything back off. So it shuts the pool, the spa, everything down. Right now, the spa is in a cool down mode. It's not uncommon after having the spa on and the spa heat on for it to go for a three minute heater cool down. While it's doing this heater cool down, we're gonna go into menu and help. In menu, you have help, which is diagnostics. You can scroll down to diagnostics and it would basically tell you if your water temperature sensor, your air sensor, your solar, if they're okay. And if, as long as you see okay, that means they're working properly. It's saying check aqua pure, low salt. It's because this pool, we haven't added salt yet. 
but it is telling us that we have one error. If I scroll down in menu, down to program, this is where we can program the equipment to run. On this particular pool on filter pump, I've only programmed the pool filter pump to come on at 7 a.m. and go off at 7 p.m. And that's all days. It's important if you wanted to change that runtime that you scroll down or hit the down arrows to change and click on change and then you could go through and hit the the change so for this particular pool i wanted to run from seven until nine o'clock at night and so i just up arrow select select and then hit select again one more time you want to make sure that you hit select all the way through so it does save the program now this is program one of one you could have one of five or one of ten you just want to make sure that you don't have overriding programs. Um, we could program the pool lights, the heat, anything like that. Right now, if we go into pool lights, no programs have been entered. We're not going to enter any programs, but you could program any of the auxiliaries that you have as well. Set temp is pretty simple. The pool heat is set at 80. Click on it and go down. And then I just lowered it to 79. For the spa temp, we're going to raise this temperature up to say 101. So every time that we turn the spa on, it's going to be preset to go to that heat. Now there is a maintain and there's hours. That's if you wanted to maintain the pool year round at a certain temperature. Set aqua pure. So the aqua pure is the salt system. This is where you can raise and lower the percentages on your salt to produce more or less chlorine. The display light could be on, off, or two minute timeout. For this particular one, we're gonna leave it on all the time, almost like a night light. Lockouts, lockouts are if you didn't want somebody to use a particular device. Sometimes you didn't want your grandkids to ever be able to turn on the spa or the spa heat. You could lock out that device. Program groups, think of program groups. You could have a program A and program B and you just toggle between program A and program B with your set times and run times. So maybe you like if this was your winter home and you're, you're only here during the winter months, you would have it in program A, and then when you left, it would go down to program B and uh, run certain different times. And you don't have to go back and keep changing the different programs. System setup, this is all should have been set up. You would go in here and you could label extra auxiliaries, change your freeze protection. The JND systems all have the built-in freeze protection. So the freeze protection, we set them always up at 38 degrees. So if the air temperature gets below 38 degrees, it's gonna um, turn on the pump. Typically this happens at one, two o'clock in the morning here in Florida. All off. Now all off is a good feature in this. A lot of times we like to set up the all off menu and feature. We'll turn this on, hit select, and then I go down and I'll set this. Typically, if we built your pool, we set it up for like 3 a.m. That way at 3 a.m. in the morning, it would shut everything down. You left the pool light on, the spa light. Maybe the grandkids were playing with the remote all day long and they walked away and left the heater on and left everything on. At 3 a.m., everything's going to go off in one touch. Set up the one touches. So you can go into one touches and you, you have a total of six. We pre-programmed all off spa mode and pool mode, but there is three others that you could pre-program and you could make night party, pool party, um, whatever you want. We're going to go back to the main menu and just keep hitting the back button until you get to the main menu. One touches on off. 
and one touch is we can um, turn on and off in certain devices in groups. So we have spa mode, pool mode. By touching maybe say pool mode, I hit that button right here, it's going to turn on the filter pump. You could have it um, programmed to do a bundle of things. Just enjoy it, play with it, and have fun with your pool.